Okay, so this is part three of our training series of trade tutorial and uh, yeah we are just going to be adding this guy seated on the seat there to kind of yeah complete uh, the tutorial and so find the guy anywhere you find him uh, find a rigged character anywhere you find it i got mine from mixamo and i imported it as a, an fbx file uh, so just I'll just copy him directly here from here. Let's control C, paste him in my project. Okay, so it comes with uh, this object here because I think it's parented to it. So let me delete that. Now, if you have any animation on the object, you can just reset. Go to uh, use Control Tab while selecting. After I uh, select the armature or bones and hit Control Tab to go into pause mode. And you can clear that the pause you have using Ctrl R to go back to the original rest position of the bones or into a T pause like this, and then you can reanimate your character. But uh, since I already have some character, some animations here, I'm just going to stick stick with that. I just rotated the bones to kind of give uh, the effect of him swinging his legs as he swings around. So now what we're left with is uh, to attach him operant him to to the seat there are a few ways you can do this you can do it in directly in uh, po using a single bone uh, the main uh, parent bone or you can just parent the entire object to the to the seat and uh, that should be enough I can see we don't have the swing swinging so what I can do so to make the this swing you would need to kind of animate uh, this a bit so uh, what you need to do is go to the physics tab and turn on uh, the animated property so that we can animate this but uh, make sure you animate it from this rest position otherwise if you start moving it are you going to kind of mess up the entire rig setup so you can animate him from here and at frame 20 can push uh, the string up and uh, if you play back you can see that uh, it will pull other uh, chains with uh, the seat the seat will pull the chains and uh, to have this swing back uh, then at around frame 18 you can turn off you can keyframe the animated property to be switched off so now Okay, that was too fast i think it went it went too high so maybe let's just increase the weight ah, he's not very well balanced yeah the chain is not very well balanced i think Yes, also when you increase uh, the mass of the object, uh, the connection will tend to kind of stretch, like have some elasticity property uh, to them. So the more you increase the mass here, you're going to see a lot of elasticity in the object. So if I remove this here, or push it down a bit, you see that uh, the swing becomes more elastic. Uh, so if I reduce this to say 100, I see that uh, the elasticity kind of reduces 500. See, something like that. So make sure you give it, or if you want to have a large mass, but uh, you don't want that elasticity. Uh, what you can do is uh, let me unhide these helpers. You would give uh, these helpers. Let me just deselect these these cubes here. A uh, higher mass as well. So if I give them a higher mass of fifty, then that should counter the elasticity we have that is being added so i can increase this to a thousand and you should see that uh, it doesn't kind of 
fall down like we had before. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, this link should be connected at around here so that this swing doesn't fall, doesn't rotate like that. So uh, if you want to do that, you can do it. Uh, let me just select all of these, hide them. Just need we need to rotate these uh, the chains the links on this side which can be hard to select uh, because we have that's why I would recommend you organize them a little bit better so you can break this up into different collections so each side here, so this could be a different collection and uh, this side could be a different collection so that if you want to select this side, you can select it easily. Uh, let me see if I can select that. Maybe we select this side like that. And maybe select this side like that. And um, we select this chain. I don't want to have this chain selected, so something like that then have my cursor at around here then period to set reset the pivot point uh, so um, it seems I'm also moving the curve so I also need to deselect that hmm. maybe not now uh, this is something you you have to plan early on otherwise you're going to run into this issue or what, can, or what you can do you can end uh, the connection right around here so you would have these two here moved you would have them moved around there and uh, then uh, the last cube in your connection I think this should uh, would be let me select this 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 uh, it doesn't even matter the the last piece of your uh, the piece that the chain link that connects to this could be uh, so this here would be connected let me make sure that I'm connecting the right thing so this here would be then connected to something like there so the connection ends there uh, that means that uh, this chain uh, this seed connects to the chain exactly at this point so if we play back you can see it will stop uh, the uh, the seed from flipping over uh, but uh, yeah, you need to plan that ahead. Let me see how I did it, how the connection was here. I think uh, this, this one doesn't flip, though we have, I guess it doesn't have the same energy. Maybe instead of setting that let me just try that change let me see what happens here yeah, so this flipping of uh, the object is just has to do with uh, the point of connections uh, of your chain uh, with a set here so anyway uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.